Right, so we all know when we resize a photo and we put it on Facebook, specifically Facebook, the quality deteriorates quite badly. Facebook adds a lot of compression to things and you lose a lot of detail in the photos. What can you do about that? Well, there's one little thing you can do. It helps a little bit. I'm not going to say it's going to solve the problem, but it will give you a little bit of a fighting chance. I use this method and it works reasonably well. So what we're going to do, yet again, we'll open a file where we've got a photo. I'm going to open up Bethany. So I'll right click on it, because it open with Photoshop. Right, here's Bethany. What I'm going to do now is, I'm going to go to image. I'm going to go to image size. As we can see here, there's the image size, there's the long edge, there's the short edge. I'm going to do the long edge at 1200. Um, I'm going to leave the resolution because we've discussed this in another uh, little video. So you'll know that if you're not going to print it out, if you just put it in the web, you can leave that alone. All right, press OK. And I'm going to go and press 100%. So there we go. There's the full, there's the photo now at 1200 pixels long edge. Like I said, when we uh, upload this to Facebook, it will apply a bit of compression to it. It's trying to save space, basically, Facebook, because we've got all these photos being uploaded to their servers. They've got to save space somehow. However, what we can do is this. I'm now going to press Control and J. And as you can see, it's created a duplicate layer. What I'm going to do to this duplicate layer now is sharpen it. And there's a very specific kind of sharpening. We're going to go to Filter, we're going to go to Sharpen, and we're going to go to Unsharp Mask. Now, have this slider here all the way up to 500%, have the threshold all the way down to zero, and this is where you play around with how much you want to sharpen the photo. For a 1200 pixel photo, I usually have it at about 0 0.3, but I'm going to make a small adjustments to it. So I'm going to press OK. So this is over sharpened. Um, it's looking a bit garish, to be quite honest. So what I'm going to do is, this layer has been selected. Now, this is the one with the sharpening on it. I'm going to drop the opacity. I'm going to drop it. Uh, I tend to drop it to around 30%, something like that. Now, you won't be able to see this on your screen, but if I toggle on and off, you'll be able to see, when you do it yourself, areas where it's sharpened. It looks a bit brighter. So, and putting this unsharp mask on makes a bigger file size. So what we're going to do is this. We don't want everything sharpened. We don't want this sharpened up here, possibly. We might not want the wall sharpened. We might just want a hair or a eyes or something like that, a bit of a clothing. So, I've got layer 1 there, selected. Now I'm going to hold my finger on Alt, and I'm going to go down to this box here, and I'm going to click it. Right, you see now a little black box has come up as a mask. What's happened is, you've put sharpening on that, and now you've hidden it behind. So, when you rub through, it will rub through the sharpening that's hidden behind it because you're getting rid of this top photo, if you like. So you won't, yet again, you won't be able to see it in this resolution. This probably I'm just going to paint over a face like that and a bit in her arms, around the coats, um, down the seams of the legs. And you'll be able to see here these little white marks. That's where I've rubbed through. If you make a mistake, see these boxes here. Black one on top. Black one means it'll rub through. If you swap it around, you can swap it around by pressing X. Okay? If you've got the white, it means that you can un-erase it. So I can un-erase the sharpening I've put on her face there. I can un-erase the sharpening I've put on her hair or her arms, her legs. And you'll be able to see now, you see there, I've un-erased it. So I want to put it back, so I press X again. So if you've got that black box there, it means that it'll rub through and it'll bring the detail through. There we go. 
Okay, so I'm happy with that. I've put a little bit of sharpening on. Like I say, you won't be able to see it on the resolution of your screen with uh, just this video. So if you do it yourself, give it a go. I'm going to flatten all this off now. And to flatten it off, I'm press Control e So there we go. It's all nice. One flat document. It's had the um, the, the unsharp mask applied to it. The term unsharp mask comes from, um, actually from printing. And it uh, originated from a time when it was a mistake it was, and somebody had printed something, a picture, um, on a piece of paper, and then reprinted it. But the print plates weren't quite aligned. So it just printed it a fraction, a tiny fraction of an inch to the side or wherever. And it just gave the photo a bit of crispness or the picture a bit of crispness. And people thought, ooh, that's quite nice. So that's where, where the term unsharp mask comes from. And that's effectively what's happening here. It's just shifting some pixels, tiny, tiny, tiny amounts to the side. And then just gives you that bit of clarity. Right, so we've done that. We go to File, Save for Web. Here we go. There's the file there. And we're going to select JPEG. Um, as you can see, it's been resized already. We've done that in Photoshop. The quality at the moment, because I've got it there set at 75, means this photo is going to be 337K. That might be a little bit too big. I can drop that down a little bit. Let's say it's a 60. If I can get it onto 60, there we go. It's now 224. So I think, yeah, that's okay. That'll do me. So I press save. Ask me where I want to save this. I want to save it to my desktop. Just for the sake of this video. There we go. So now I have a photo there of Bethan. This is 228K. 1200 pixels. And I know I've applied that unsharp mask to it. So like I said... It's not. It won't fix the problems that we get with um, with Facebook. You'll always get that compression, but it does help a little bit. Um, so there we go. That's a, a quick overview of how to uh, sharpen your photos for Facebook.